Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Glam Preezy, and today, as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be talking about the crucial importance of a regulated nervous system. If you have been on social media at all, no doubt you have been seeing all of these tweets and threads and posts about having a regulated nervous system, right? Or having a dysregulated nervous system. I bet you were thinking, hmm, I wonder what exactly that is and does that have anything to do with me. Yes, if you have fibroids or hormonal imbalance, this absolutely has to do with you. If you want to learn more about this topic, you know what to do. Keep watching. Okay guys, so again, thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. I am Glam Preezy. If you are new here, hey girl, hey, and to my returning subbies. I know y'all miss me, cause I miss y'all. <laughs> so you know I got you guys. As I said, today we are going to be breaking down the crucial importance of having a regulated nervous system. I'm going to be discussing how the nervous system works first and foremost, and then secondly, we're going to be talking about a dysregulated nervous system and how that can affect your hormones and your fibroids most importantly. I am using natural lighting, so I am on a race against the sunset, all right? <laughs> and before we get started, today you know I got a beverage. I'm drinking the Soul Tea Organic Chlorophyll Aloe Super Aid. I have been drinking these for the past month or so and I really like them. Y'all know how I feel about chlorophyll, okay? So today we are going to be drinking this. Let me just, mm -hmm. and I gotta grab my notes. Y'all know I gotta have my notes because today we are gonna be breaking it down down so without further ado come on in we got some things to discuss so as i said i know you've seen some of these tweets or ig posts if you've been online at all i know that i have this particular one has mentioned being able to manifest things and bring greater things into your life through having a regulated nervous system which is a wonderful concept right and i'm sure you're thinking yeah that sounds nice and everything but what does that have to do with me and how is it crucial to healing fibroids and hormones Stick with me now, because y'all know how I do. I'm gonna break it all the way down for you. We've got a few systems to break down before we get to the main points, but I promise you I will make this quick and easy to understand. So I'm going to assume by now we all know what fibroids are, right? Okay, if you don't know what fibroids are, well, you can check out one of my very first videos on fibroids to catch yourself up. So what is the nervous system in the first place and what does it do? It's a complex network that controls and coordinates all the activities in the body, okay? It can be divided into two main systems, the central nervous system or CNS and the peripheral nervous system or PNS. So when we talk about the CNS or central nervous system, think brain, spinal cord. This regulates functions like emotion, cognition, and reflexes. On the other hand, we have the PNS, which is made up of the somatic and autonomic nervous system. Okay, the somatic is in charge of things that you decide to do, like me picking up this salty and drinking it. <laughs> the autonomic is in charge of things the body should be doing on its own or involuntary things like breathing, keeping your heart beating, and digestion. If you've been keeping up with me this far, this is when it starts to make a little bit more sense. The autonomic nervous system, as I just described, is further broken down into two more systems. And I'm sure that you've heard of these. Those are the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, right? Is it getting, is it getting more juicy? Okay, stick with me, we're almost there. The sympathetic is our body's emergency response. It gets your body ready for action when you are scared or stressed. It speeds up your heart rate, it makes you breathe faster, it gets your muscles ready to run <laughs> or fight. It also slows down your digestion to conserve energy for the fight or the run, whichever one you're gonna be doing. This is what we know to be our body's fight or flight mode, ladies as opposed to the parasympathetic, which is our R&R, &R, rest and recuperation mode, okay? You see the contrast? You, you see where I'm going with this? I got you. The parasympathetic calms your body down after an emergency. It slows the heart rate and helps you calm down, and it also helps with digestion. Instead of slowing digestion, it helps to rev up your digestion. All right, so now we hop. The state where the balance between your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system is disrupted is called a dysregulated 
nervous system. This can be caused by chronic stress, trauma, unhealthy or poor lifestyle habits. So now that we have all of the necessary info, ladies, let's really make this hit home. What happens to our hormones when we have a dysregulated nervous system? So hormonally speaking, when we have a dysregulated nervous system and are chronically stressed, here's what is happening to our hormones. Number one, elevated cortisol. This can disrupt the balance of other hormones, including estrogen and progesterone. and Really, if I'm not mistaken, and I did not put this in my notes because I got a lot going on here, it decreases the amount of progesterone that we produce, which can put us in a state of estrogen dominance, okay? We also have higher adrenaline, which is also a stress hormone. It can disrupt thyroid hormones. It can cause insulin resistance as well because a state of chronic stress makes your body less sensitive to insulin. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, I know that this is now starting to make all the sense in the world. Let's go further. So what does a dysregulated nervous system look like and how does it affect fibroids? Again, I have more notes because y'all know I do not play about this research and I wanted to make sure I got this correctly. A dysregulated nervous system in women can manifest in many ways due to the imbalance between the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Menstrual irregularities, missing periods, painful periods, exacerbated PMS, of course hormonal imbalance, symptoms related to conditions like PCOS or thyroid disease, exacerbation of chronic conditions or worsening of conditions such as fibroids, endometriosis, or autoimmune disorders, fertility issues, and let me remind you when the body is in fight or flight mode it's letting your body know hey now is not a good time to get pregnant okay. Whew, and this one I have a video coming up on this as well. Chronic inflammation. Elevated stress hormones can lead to increased inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a known factor in developing and growth of fibroids. It's a known factor and we need to talk about it soon. Look out for that video. We got more though. Chronic fatigue, sleep disturbances, digestive issues, because remember that these systems are in control of digestion. So just imagine if you are constantly in a fight or flight mode, this is tearing your stomach up. Muscle tension and pain heart palpitation, frequent illness, anxiety, depression, mood swings, increased instability, easily annoyed or angered, brain fog, poor decision making, over or under eating, increased reliance on substances, and lastly but not least, withdrawal from social activities. And not to mention, if you are spiritual or religious at all, this is not a great space to be in to create and or manifest or bring about good energy. Okay, this is not a space to attract abundance, wealth, that husband you've been looking for, that new car, that new job, because you know it all comes from here. If our nervous system is dysregulated, it affects so much more than what you think. So with all that being said, as you can see, that's no bueno, especially for somebody that's already suffering with fibroids or any other chronic illness. And you can see how it's crucial that we learn how to manage and regulate our nervous system, okay? So this wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't give you some suggestions on how to do that. I'm going to take a quick moment here and be transparent with you all. You guys know, y'all y'all, y'all, my family at this point in time. Another motivation for me making this video is that I've recently gotten out of a, a really emotionally unhealthy relationship and I'm going to go in depth about that in a life update that I'll be doing soon. If you guys have wondered where the hell I've been, why I have not been uploading so frequently, trust me, it has killed me not being able to be in my creative space and not being able to come on here in the way that I wish to present myself. You know what I mean? More than ever, being able to maintain and reset and regulate my nervous system in this past, I don't know, three months has been crucial. So some of these things that I wanna mention, I wanna let you know that I have utilized firsthand. 
to keep me keep, keep my wits about me and be able to come out swinging <laughs> and I don't mean physically I mean energetically and how I am able to continue to transmute terrible situations and maintain my energetic field okay I need to take a sip <laughs> you know you guys are my girls I will always be honest with you about you know what's been going on I do want to say though that the relationship did not start out that way you know they never do it started out well it really did <laughs> they always like to woo you they like to woo you first and then give you the one-two punch all right stay tuned for my life update video I'm also probably gonna be doing a separate video on on how I regulate my nervous system but until then I do want to give you this list of things that you can look into if you feel like you have a dysregulated nervous system you probably do you know a lot of us are walking around blindly with this situation and we are not doing our situation and especially fibroids any good like this you cannot heal like this and you know that I preach about this constantly in all of my videos when I'm talking about stress management when I'm talking about mental health I am also meaning regulating your nervous system so I'm very happy that I was able to do a video talking about this okay uh, first things first this may sound obvious but sometimes when you're in the thick of it as I just was you know things get a little jumbled but get away from the trigger that's the first thing I don't care whether it is a romantic relationship a bad toxic job a toxic family member if you can try to distance yourself and get away from the trigger maybe just hearing that will help to give you the perspective that you need to reconsider that situation okay you know what I'm gonna say move your body you can uh, go for a walk as I talked about many 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 times if you guys have not already watched my video on staying grounded watch that one that one's a really good one and some of these tips that I'm talking about today are ones that I discuss in depth in that video meditation oh my god if you can take a moment I don't care if you have to go outside in your break and sit in your car sit in silence and try to clear your mind mindfulness is another one whoa 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 I will go further into depth about this in that upcoming video about regulating your nervous system but look up mindfulness it's a powerful tool especially if you are dealing with a toxic person please trust me it got me all the way through it kept me in a space where it's like I do I need to say this do I need to respond to this it just helps you stay present grounding it's summertime put your feet in some sand put your feet in some grass I'm not lying like it sounds crazy but you need to get outside take your shoes off find a nice little patch of, of grass or something and stand there let the Sun hit your skin be present and practice mindfulness in that moment if you can uh, another thing you can do to ground yourself is taking salt baths I have taken more baths than I ever took in my entire life get yourself a very good quality salt I like the dead sea salts I will have them linked down below of course you know I got you and soak in the tub lock that door don't let nobody bother you that's your time that has been amazing for me tapping I've talked about tapping before especially in that video connecting with nature that goes along with the grounding piece breath work amazing look up breath work and breathing exercises that has been amazing as well now some things that you can take to help you adapt to herbs I'm not gonna go into depth about because I don't want to make this video super super long but they help the body to manage stress okay they help the body to adapt write this down or check the description bar below I will have some linked ashwagandha a lifesaver for me I absolutely take it every day in one form or the other I will not go without that reishi mushroom another one I also want you to look up an ingredient called 5-HTP that has been a lifesaver for me as well especially if you are suffering from depression and anxiety in particular that has been a lifesaver I absolutely will have a supplement that I take linked down down below in the description bar oh also B vitamins B vitamins are phenomenal for helping you to manage stress as well okay there are so many other ways to cope and to regulate your nervous system I'm going to be talking about some more of those methods in my next video about how I regulate my nervous system in the meantime guys if you have made it this far and you have not subscribed 
Child, I don't, I don't have no words for you, okay? And also, if you learned something in this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. I also want to remind you guys to go over to my new website, hotgirlhealthjourney.com. Subscribe to the website because I do a monthly newsletter for you guys. I have four or five new pages being uploaded to the website within the next month or so. Thank God my life is back at peace and I'm back on schedule, you guys. I'm just, I am just so blessed and happy. So please make sure that you go over there. You can click around. There's also the five day meal plans if you are interested in that, but mostly make sure you subscribe so that when new things are uploaded to the website, you can be notified. I also have a really, really exciting offering. I don't want to speak on it just yet. In my next video, I'll probably do a little blurb update to let you guys know what I'm going to be offering for you guys. And um, while you're here, make sure that you watch another video okay I know you ain't got nothing else to do I know you want to learn more about fibroids right go ahead and click this video so that you can learn more about my natural healing journey and how to shrink and manage your fibroids naturally I love you guys and I cannot wait to hear from you down in the comments below let me know what you think about this topic and I will see you again at another one